people, people are nice, but sometimes people do things in a very, in a very, in a way that is not nice. They do it to actually insult you. So, and sometimes, you know, and those kind of things, it's very hard to pick out because people that do this, they on a level, on another level of personality skill. You know, there is like narcissistic personality. There is like people that are actually very social. They're very psychosocial. I don't know. Borderline. And you honestly, these people are, they are, it's, I mean, it's hard to get into their brain, but honestly, sometimes you just like, you know, if you are, if you find yourself in that, you know, it's like, you, in, in, this way, if, if they give you something and they, and you're like, you don't expect that they're going to ask you or you don't like ask for it back or you don't expect them that they're going to ask for it. To see this kind of girl that they're going to actually say, well, I thought you gave me this one. No, I didn't give you. Where is it? So, like, honestly, these people are in another level of personality. And, honestly, most, uh, and the one thing that I can say is, like, you know, you have to be, be safe out there. <laughs> the only thing I can say is, like, be safe out there. If you watch Criminal Minds, or like guess oh the mentalist you understand what that means be safe out there be safe out there respect yourself be safe out there and respect yourself it's a very humane thing to do with that i'm going to let me say i'm going to work on this now and then i'm going to probably won't do anything else you know i really do want to finish this today so i'm going to go and come back i know i had actually like done a lot of talking more than actually knitting i'm going to actually show you because i know i do have a video here that i showed um what i did like how i make this but you know i'm just going to show it again so here i, I have this look so honestly the it depends on the style that you're doing right now i'm doing like i can show you so here the very few ones here like the beginning here is like here the, the beginning is here you know i've done, done a bit of single strand so if you look around but if you come up here like if you say so in this side in this one i've done like a two two strands so you can see the difference there but if you come up i've done I done I done another two strands, but this time I actually clutch them together. So the so it's not like this one here. So it's not like this ones here because it's just two strands there, not two strands, two different kind of what do you call this? Let's say okay, because it's not this. okay. Let's call this one strand because they go into they go once in each square but if you come up here there's like it's two strand in each square but if you and then it's not grouped but if you come up here i don't it's two strands really i done it in this two strands way this one's especially this part here i've done it two strands but i've cleaned them so that they clutch together so they're together so and that's uh, what I was doing for the rest of it. So from like from like this part here all the way up, I've been doing two strands that are clutched together. So I done two strands that are clutched together, and that is good. So I'm going to continue doing this until I finish, and uh, hopefully that will be soon, so I can actually show you because I really really do want to finish today. So I can show it to you and we can wear it because you know I, I mean it's relaxing it's a way to actually enjoy your time meeting it's pure relaxation yeah it's something you do in a recursion time too yeah so it's something you do it and your recursion time and it's I mean, honestly it's it's quite relaxing so um, honestly I'm going to show you how I do this 
because on it, like I said, it depends on the style. So here, the one the one loop that I showed you is this. So I I have my here's the loop. The, there's the first loop because on this the the single one you only do you need four four strand four different sort of turn. So I have the loop. I'm going to wrap one hundred strand like this. So I wrap it around the middle and then I'm going to insert in the hole in the next row there and then I'm going to pull this out the gray one that I'm working with now I'm going to pull it out so now I have like three different loop on my needle and then I'm going to wrap it around again on my needle now I have four strands now this four strands I'm going to pull it out twice we have the first loop, second torch. So I'm going to pull out the the second, no, the second and the third one. So this is how it's going to. Be. I'm going to pull it out like this, and now I have two loop on my needle, and then I'm going to wrap another strand on my needle, and then I'm going to pull it out again, and that is a single strand. That's just a single sound. And if I want to do two two style, let's say let me try. If I want to do two strats, two style on like a box like this, I'm just going to do it again and then you see. So you pull it out, wrap it again, and pull it out twice, and then you have like that two strand, two single strand in a box. But the one that I'm doing now is the one that is in a loop. It's like in a loop, but it's not. It's an it's in a loop, but it's two single strands in a loop, and it's grouped together. Because here, honestly, if you look at this, if you look at this tile here, here, this one. You can see that these two single strands you can you can easily separate them they're separatable because because they each stand individually like there you can if you okay you can see it's better here this side this side i've done quite a few like all around but if you come up here this and that Okay, if you come up to this place here, here, there's another two strand, two style, but it's in the, the, the instead of doing it individually, I've grouped them. Oh, no, what? Yeah, instead of, instead of doing it individually, I grouped them. Here, where is it? Yeah, I grouped them. I'd group them so they are like in a chunk. They know like individually. They're like very tight and together. So I'm going to show you the way that I do that. So I wrap my my strand in the middle. So I have two strands in India, and I'm going to go in the box down here. I'm going to pull another one out, and I'm going to wrap it around. So I have four strands, but now I'm not going to pull it out. No, actually no, I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to pull it out there just exactly the same way that I did the last time. So here, so I pull it out right here and then I'm going to wrap this strand around but then I'm going under again. I'm going to go under here, here and then I'm going to pull this out. Oh, yeah, I'm going to pull this out and then I'm going to wrap this around here and I'm going to pull it out again and then finally close it. Ouch! I've actually gone so far out. 1 and 11 minutes. Dang. Okay, I'm going to show you again. So then there's two strands in the loop. I'm going in, going in, coming out, and here. So now I'm going to do exactly the same as did first time. Pull the two ones out, but then I'm going to wrap it another. I'm going to wrap 
Ninja wrap another strand again on it, so it's like now I have to wait, and then I'm going to go in again to bring this out. So it's so it sounds like I'm using, and you can do this as many times as you want. I've only I've only done like two times. So if you want to do three times, you know you just have to go three times under the box. So I went one time, pull it out, and then go in again, and pull out the strand again, and then, and each time you do this, you want to pull out two strand. Yeah, each, each time you do this, you want to pull out the two strand. So here, and that's it. And this this one that I just did here is three strand oh so honestly the and this goes on you you might want to like try it doing three strands in a row three three uh three different sort of style in the box four different sort of style in the box it depends on what you want now i'm i'm going to show you another style guide and this one is it's as simple as the as the strands in a, in a clutch this one you just have my two strands here and then you just go in one and you go out and then you and then you wrap your your strand around the needle again you go in and then you come out again now you have this is the second time you're going and then two time and then you come out again and you keep, and then here i have like seven strands on the needle now now i'm, I'm going to Pull. Sometimes you can pull out the seven strands out all at once, and that is good. But sometimes you can pull out, and sometimes you can pull out ten. You can pull out the strands in in sections. Maybe you want to pull out three of them out first. Maybe you want to pull out three of them out first. And then you're going to wrap it out again and then you're going to pull out another three and then wrap the your mid around your strand around the needle and then pull out again and now you're done i'm going to show you this one again so you go in and something it, it depends you can go in the box five times three times two times is kind of small but if you're doing something like a night cap a night cap you can do that but if you want something like uh, if you're doing like a very stylish one go for three go for four so you go uh, let me say i want to do four i want to go four times inside here four times inside so this is my second time now i'm going to go another time like this is the third time now i'm going again inside the box and i'm going and this time now i have all my strands on the middle and let me count it i have nine strands on the middle now now i want to bring this out in section but this time i'm going to bring them out in four because you know yeah i could bring them out in two but if you bring them out in two starts the they actually the strands just got kind of keep pulling back not pulling back, just going back. But it's a style. You can try it. It's a style. Like here. If I want to see, I want to take this out two by two. So here is one. I took out this two. Now I'm going to wrap it out again. And then take out another two. Now I have another two taken out. And then I'm going to wrap it out again. And then take it out. Take out another two strand. This, this is a nine strands on the noodle. Now I'm going to go again and take another two strands out. So look at what we're getting here. As I'm taking out all the strands, as I'm taking out the strands here, you see how it feels like it gets it kept going back. Like it's creating this slope on the noodle. So I'm going to, and then finally I'm going to wrap it out around again and then here so here so this is what i was talking about see the very one that we just did here so see this one that i've just done here here 
So it's it's nine strands. I, ju I just pull out nine strands, and you know, it takes a lot of. It requires a lot of wool. This, but if I want to take, do the next one here, it's going to pull. Like it's really going to pull because you you have like so much room here. Now look, I'm working from like way back here. And then I'm going to try this again. I'm going to try this time. I'm going to try maybe like only four. And say that I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to take it out two by two again, like I did the first time. I mean, here, here is what you have. It's okay. Like honestly, it's okay. But sometimes when you're working with this kind of, when you're creating this kind of cap, you kind of need a strategy. Because if you leave so much room like this, if you leave so much room like this, you want to make, you want to come forward. So it's not it won't be like you're pulling the strands together, but you're pulling the boxes together. You know that at the end. You want to give them room. You want to give them enough room so that you have so it doesn't feel like you're forcing the the strands and like the style to each other. So I'm just going to I'm going to create like maybe like three sort of loop strands and then I'm going to bring it forward and then I'm just going to continue what I am doing and then I'm going to pull this out and that is why I say like if you want to do the style and it see see the one that we did nine strands see that that huge gap honestly you can leave it but if you don't like it you can reduce it or you can sort of create some kind of some kind of you know honestly one time I was practicing this and I kept getting new ways to to do this and like maybe sometimes you want to like close it off so like here instead of creating like that three loops maybe you want to like take this and then and then at the very end of the of this this nine strand, you want to call, you want to take out another strand from it like this. So it means that you're closing the gap, that huge gap. So here is it. You're going to pull it out twice like this, and that means that you close the gap, and you can easily go to the next boxes here. And honestly, and you see the difference that you're not. You're not creating some kind of. You're not pulling this style together. You're giving them enough room. That is it. And honestly, I'm, I'm, you know, if you're working with stitches, I know, like, I know if you enjoy stitching, um, like wool or cap or anything, you create this thing, and then you honestly sometimes you end up creating like new styles every time. I, I've done this. Too many times and i've created new style every time i was like no oh wow i had no idea about this because you know i remember when i was in Nigeria, I knew you have the you have the net style and you have like one tidy style and they won't tidy one sometimes like you do bananas and bananas goes like this bananas is like if you're doing this the first trans one or like the single strand you you know here is the so you have this loop here and then you have like this line strand here sometimes you can really go in here but sometimes if you if you want a nice grab to your strands on here you can go under here so it's like you you're working over three layers of strand not two but sometimes you can if you if you work with two two strand pull it out together and like, yeah so uh so so the banana one that I was talking about is you're working you're only working in the middle here you're working this middle working through each style that you make so, and you're only working with this strand it's actually two strands. You only working with this 
with this. You're only working with this. And you know, honestly, I really wish I could. There's a way I could better show this. But you're working with each strand. But you're working in the middle here. Because this, you're working in the middle here. And that's how you're going to create your two strands. I'm going to show you what this looks like. Because you're working in this middle here, and you're going to put it in the middle, and you're going to, instead of, I mean, sometimes you can bring it forward, but this one I'm bringing it backward. And you kind of see what kind of loop it's going Like, it's like you're bringing the loop out, and you're going only, you're only going this way. And you can do this as many times as you want. You know, before we had went through the three loops like this, but this one will be actually bringing out two loops. And so the other loops, you can see the other loop on the other side. So, and then you continue doing this till you're satisfied, like honestly. And I'm only doing one strand on each middle like that and that is like something you can do like two strands it depends like whatever you want and so see what is creating here you can honestly you can see the difference now it's bringing the 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 dark look at the opposite end and that's a new style and honestly and they actually call this a banana style but if you if you want to do this you it has to you have to be really patient because the banana style kind of go like you start with single strand and then the next circle that you go to you you go two strand on the very on the very single strand from the bottom and, then, and if you want to get it you have to create like three spaces so you know so it's really give you that it will actually it give you a very defined shape yeah, it's, it gives you like a very definite shape, like this kind of triangle. And the triangle just kind of go like back and forth, like one will go come up and the other one will go down. One will come up and the other one will go to the opposite side. And it's definitely, it's really, I mean, it's so pretty. If you want to, oh, okay, maybe one day, I don't know, I might do one and I'll show it to you. But it's a very neat style. We call it in that style. So, and each time you go around the loop, you will only, you're only going, you start with a single strand, you go up, you do two strand, and the next circle, three, the other circle, four, five, six. So, that is, that is the banana style. And then it gives you like this triangle, this triangular shape, and yeah. So, without further ado, I'm going to end my discussions here because I have nothing else. Well, I do, I could really rant, but have you already taken, have you done 128 minutes of talking and showing this? And I, and it's like creating a movie, you get what I mean? But I'm going to edit this, so I'm going to see how much, so anyways. Without further ado, I'm going to end my stuff here. But however, I might come back and just show you, hopefully, and I'm praying that I actually finish this today, and I'll show you why. So the, look at how wide and huge this is. It's like some kind of a Jamaican um, hat. But like, look at this. It's so wide right now. It's so, so, so big. So I'm going to finish this fourth round of gray feather that I'm stitching and then after that I will close it up and I'm going to show you how I usually close my knitting my knitted cap because because you know how like this the stitches right now here they're all very soft and very very soft all of them very soft so one thing that you could do really is you could add you could add like an elastic rubber what is it? You can add elastic rubber, like any of this kind of rubber, or any, or you can add something like this. Then you just be like you're going to tie it. So you can 
add anything like that or you can go traditional way and just like create like maybe five or six kind of stitches at the edges here but those stitches will be very very tight so that the cap can actually form the concave shape okay, i'm using this plastic band to to kind of round up everything like right here so i'd read it down like maybe more than half of it i'll probably join a little bit of plastic because I don't want it to be too tight around my head so yeah so so I'm stitching around the, uh, around the elastic and that's it and I'm going to join I'm going to join a little bit more there so it's not too tight okay so this is what this looks like right now. But I'm going to stitch um, a little bit at this end here to just kind of bring everything together like in a compact way. But this is what it looks like. Blueberry blush. I got it from drop mats. Yes, I got it from the shoppers drop mats and it's really you know I like this and I like the roll on as well. Like the the EOS very fragmented and you know what i like the the one in the glass and honestly this is can almost pass as a nude uh lipstick i mean it's a lip balm but if you add if you add layer them on your on your lip then like see it kind of bring out this weird color This is like the bomb, like going to school. I use this a lot. Well, not this one, but I use the one in the glass quite a lot. But um, yeah, it just kind of like that it had color if you just layer them on your lips, right? So that's nice. So I finished the cap. This is it. This is the end cap. It's actually quite huge, but it's not too. Bad. It's actually quite very huge, so, but it's but it's okay. So I added I added the elastic, and after adding the elastic, I um went on to to stitch three more rounds, three more circumference on um not three actually five more circumferences around the around the rubber stitches to give it some more the the last part which is the five one that I'm talking about like the all the black at the edges here they are quite hard because I've stitched them really really tight so it gives it like this um, concave shape if I hadn't used the elastic and I just used this um, stitch it will still give it like it would just make it tight it's like an alternative if you don't want to use the elastic band, you can always use the harder stitch. It's harder, like the ends, and it will just bring the cap together and in a concave shape. And so, voila! I'm actually glad that I actually done done because I started it this year, and I'm sure the the video will be somewhere on this um, channel. But then I didn't touch it until like did I start it again like the day before yesterday and then <gasps> now I'm done and that's it now let's try this on like I said it's very very huge this okay so this is the final this this is it and like it's actually very huge like I was saying this <laughs> quite a lot but it's so huge like oh my god so so huge so big on my head but yeah i haven't done my hair so but yeah but what i was thinking <laughs> that's not going to be but you know okay so it is huge i know but you know and if worse comes to worse i can actually take the elastic part out 
and we do the edge part or like the elastic here I can I can pull it so it becomes like much more so it doesn't so when you yeah I can pull the elastic out so more close together yeah it should bring it more close together but you know what after working this much to do this cap really I don't think I would like I want to like take out everything or even open the stitch just pat but I could I could always like just pull the elastic and make it shorter because I just pulled some part out and it's actually it feels much tighter now so it's okay but without that ado this is everything let me show you the back side this is the back side So do comment, like, share, and comment, and share, and like, and subscribe. And um, like I said, this is everything. It looks like a Jamaican cap. You know those big yellow, red, and green? I think those are the colors. And black. It kind of looks like it. Like big. But they, I know they use wool. So I prefer twine instead because, well, I just prefer twine. And actually, I got this from Nigeria when I had went last year. Yeah, black one as well as the I got the black one as well as the green one. I know I, I'm not sure you know what so I went to Fabric Land one time to actually check if they have the exact um the exact thread like this one. But they had it in like the the tailoring version, like those small ones, but it was really really tiny, so I couldn't even use that. The twine that I usually I would usually use is this one because it's much thicker and yeah. So they don't have this kind of one in like fabric lines and even in like Walmart because the ones they have in Walmart are the wool one. Because this twine, the twines they usually have, you can see like the shiny. It's kind of shiny. I mean, it's not even not kind of. It's shiny. You can see it's even around the wool because it's. It's trying, it's trying, it's like, I think, and I think cats use it, I don't know, but yeah, it's really shiny, and that's why I actually like it, it gives it a shiny, that, so if you, if, when I go to, um, Walmart, you'll find twine like this, but it's going to be in like a wool fashion version, so it's not going to have any luster or shine to it, and there is even like more tiny ones, like really, really tiny ones, those ones they also work but if you and if you actually if you stitch with it especially the caps they turn out really really fine and because they're really tiny they they somehow give like that moisture so and shine so it's there and without further ado i'm going to say peace out yeah so without further ado i'm going to say peace out and i'll see you smile all the time